Welcome everybody, Karen here, and I'm sharing with you today another one of my scrapbook layout process videos. This layout was from my August of 2020 recap monthly layout, and I'm using this sketch from um, Basic Gray and Becky Stringfellow. And what I'm doing is um, I have converted this from a 12 by 12 two page layout to a two page um, eight and a half by 11 layout to go work with my album. So I'm going to be working with the paper from the Close to My Heart Four Seasons Spring Collection for this. And I'm going to start to cut down my papers into the um, eight and a half by 11 format. I will include sizes for these in my um, blog post and in the comments on this video. Okay, now that I have most of my pieces cut, what I'm gonna do is now dry fit this. I, it's a term I use all the time and those who attend my scrapbook with me's are familiar with this term. I just like laying things out on the page without adhering them so that I can see if um, I need to adjust a size, if I like a paper or I can go to the other side, especially with a lot of these double-sided um, pattern papers and um, see if I need additional colors, maybe something that I need to do that's gonna pop, such as uh, maybe matte my photos. So I'm um, just gonna do this here, play with these layers to see how I like it. I like it on the cardstock, or if it's something that I want to change. So I'm loving playing with this paper pack. It's a lot of fun. I love the Four Seasons collection from Close to My Heart because all of the collections have a lot of really wonderful seasonal patterns, but they also work well for other seasons of the year. This and all of the collections also have a kind of a wood grain style paper along with a seasonal design for the paper, which I think it makes it just so versatile. And I love the fact that these are part of the core collection for catalog, sorry, and that they'll be available through the end of the catalog, which will be in 2023. So lots of times to play with these. I'm sure I'll be playing with this lots. So now that I've got my photos down, I realize I want my photos to pop a little bit. And so as I'm looking at this, I decided I am going to cut mats for my photos just to make them pop a little bit more from the layout. And so I hope you guys will like this. I'm gonna try this with maybe some blue. I think that coordinates with the pack. We'll have to see, um, and I'll play with this a little bit. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm cutting some um, additional elements. I'm using my die cut machine to cut the scalloped and the ring elements that I'm gonna add to the page. I'm using another pattern from the paper pack. And this is just gonna be some additional, uh, of course it's gonna add some additional color to what I'm working with. And once I get these cut, I'll try them out on the page. And then I'm going to start assembling and with this, because of the way the sketch is, you have multiple layers to it. So I'm gonna you know, make sure I'm following the sketch so that I don't uh, forget a layer and put something on top of something when it really should be below. So just keep a good eye on what you're working with. And um, so now I'm gonna start to assemble this once I check this out. So. Now that I like it, I like how these colors are going to work. I'm really kind of happy with being able to use both sides of the pattern papers. So now I'll just move my pieces off to the side and get pull out my adhesive. And I'm going to start to assemble this layout. 
And I am gonna, oh, <laughs> forgot I wanted to mention that I do have this punch. It's an old notebook edge punch I've had for eons in my tool stash. So I'm gonna pull this out and to kind of do the ends of, this is some of the um, lined paper from Close to My Heart from one of our core collection packs. And again, I love the fact that it is lined because I definitely, if I don't have journaling lines to work with, my journaling will be kind of all over the place. So I'm gonna now start assembling this and add these papers to my base pages. Now that I've got my my photos and my papers adhered. Now I'm going to adhere my title. Now this title comes from a um, SVG file available from close to my heart. It's our August digital art collection and it's got a lot of other elements to it but I just pulled out the title and the mat for it and I'm going to um, adhere the two parts. I cut this with my Cricut but since it is an SVG file this, these are something you can cut with um, any machine that'll take your SVGs and cut from them, such as a silhouette or such. Now I'm gonna use some of my foam tape to adhere this, because I, again, I like to add a little bit of pop and things you know, show up a little bit more. And so I'm gonna adhere this with foam tape and I'm also gonna adhere my circles and some additional stickers with foam tape to, like I said, give a little bit of pop to my layout and I'll add a little bit of dimension. So we're gonna continue with this. And I also have pulled out a few little pieces of um, some rhinestones out of my stash of embellishments to finish off this layout. So now that I have my embellishments on my layouts, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my journaling. And I always try to stay within the lines and work, but I do appreciate these journaling lines here because that's gonna definitely help me keep everything in line. And this was a fun month to journal, so I'm gonna go through quite a bit of journaling right here to get it all down. Well, here's my completed layout. And I, like I said, you'll see more information on this on my blog and I'll include some of the um, sizes. And I hope you like this. And thank you so much for joining me for another one of my scrapbook process videos. And I hope you can join me for some of the upcoming events that I have. Thank you so much and have a great day.